Alrighty guys, before we get into the video, make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, also make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. And if you guys want to be notified every time I post a new video, make sure to click that bell for all notifications. I'll see you guys later. Yo, what's going on everybody? It is your boy Fitzmung TV here, aka Glorn33. I am back here today with Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 62 Spoilers. We got the early draft pages. I want to thank my boy DBS Hype as always for getting us these early draft pages, these early spoilers. Um, we're getting these about a day early, so I believe based off that logic we will be getting manga chapter 62 in its entirety by the end of the week so probably around the 18th or the 19th so uh watch out for that so i'm thinking maybe around friday saturday sunday sometime next weekend we will have uh dragon ball manga chapter 62 in its entirety ready to go so make sure you guys watch out for that video but also, really quickly, Bandai is going to be announcing, you know, their new anime games either this week or next week. So we could be getting a new announcement of a new Dragon Ball video game. So make sure you guys watch out for that. Like I said, everything going on with Dragon Ball, this is your home. This is the channel you guys want to be watching. So getting back to it, this is a huge chapter because Final Form Moro has made its appearance. Moro's final ace in the hole, he has used it. Vegeta had Moro defeated in chapter 61 and he was about to take him out for good. But at the last second, Moro used his final ace in the hole by absorbing 73, you know, resulting in this new final form and regaining his old power plus 73's power on top of that. So Moro is now far stronger than he was was before plus the icing on the cake is Moro now has the ability not only to use his magic but he has 73's copy ability so Moro can now go to any fighter and by you know grabbing the back of their neck he can gain access to their powers which is ridiculous in itself and we talked about if you guys saw my manga review um last last month I talked about what if Moro is able to absorb Vegeta and Goku's techniques because they are far stronger than the others. They have, you know, better techniques. We've seen 73 in past manga chapters absorb Gohan and Piccolo's um, abilities, but what if they do it for Goku and Vegeta? Well, we do see that in these early draft pages. If you guys remember at the end of last chapter, Moro did knock Vegeta out. But the chapter begins with Vegeta flying back up. It looks like he transformed into Super Saiyan Blue, but I'm not 100% sure, you know. But because, you know, it's in black and white, these are early draft pages. We'll find out in just a couple of days, but let's assume Vegeta goes back into Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. So Vegeta transforms and he flies at Moro. And you guys remember, um, Vegeta uses his technique, the spirit separation, and he's using it to try to force Moro out of his absorption get more back to you know his old state and you know free 73 but the thing about it is Moro states that if Vegeta can't touch him then there's no way the technique will be useful and now with Moro having his old power plus 73's power on top of that is far stronger than he's ever been so Vegeta um can't touch him Moro dodges everything and he's able to break down Vegeta pretty easily even though Vegeta continues to attack so Vegeta fans you're gonna be disappointed Vegeta's getting beat down by another main villain all right even though I still think there's a chance that Vegeta could be the hero but right now it's not looking good for Vegeta so sorry Vegeta fans but Gohan does state that if you know because they go on and Piccolo did fight 73 chapters ago uh, Gohan states that uh, 73 had a 30 minute time limit on using copied abilities you know but more heroes hears this and he states that it's not a question of using um, 73's abilities of you know copying other people's techniques Moro lost all of his power basically when fighting Vegeta. And that's the reason why Moro put a whole backup of his abilities and fighting style in 73. Because Moro knew if he was able to uh, absorb 73, he would regain the power that he had lost before, plus gain 73's abilities as well. So when Moro absorbed 73, it's like Moro was reborn. 
Remember how chapter 61 was called Vegeta Reborn? Well, you know, chapter 62 is like Moro being reborn plus stronger than ever. Moro absorbing 73, since uh, Moro's powers were already in 73's body based off the copy system, Moro was just regaining the abilities that he had lost in his fight with Vegeta. So the 30 minute time limit really has nothing to do with it, all right? But at that moment, as Vegeta is listening to what Moro is saying, Moro uh, sneaks behind Vegeta, grabs his neck, and he indeed copies Vegeta's abilities. So, like we said last week, or last month, uh, what if Moro was able to copy Goku and Vegeta's abilities? Well, now we've seen him copy Vegeta's power. He knocks Vegeta's down, and the last draft page is Vegeta watching as Moro does the Big Bang attack which is a scary panel in itself i cannot wait to see how it actually looks when the chapter comes out in a couple of days so moro does the big bang attack and we see a big explosion that's where the early draft pages end so i i i would believe that vegeta would be able to dodge his own attack but you know they're gonna leave us with that cliffhanger you know what happens to vegeta was vegeta knocked out or was he able to dodge the attack but just the sight of Vegeta doing the big, or not Vegeta, the sight of Moro doing the Big Bang attack, it just makes me want to see this animated so much more. I am so hyped for this manga chapter and, you know, will Moro be able to copy Goku's abilities? Because one thing that I forgot to mention is Goku didn't know anything about 73's ability to copy abilities. Because remember, Vegeta was off training on Yardrat, Goku was training with uh, Mirrors. They had no idea what 73 was doing on Earth. So when Gohan is talking about 73's ability to copy um, powers, uh, Goku's sitting there in shock. So now, you know, we just saw Moro steal Vegeta's ability. So, you know, he does the Big Bang attack. Moro can probably do the final flash and maybe even the spirit separation. You know, so what if Moro grabs Goku? That could happen. This chapter is called A Desperate Situation. So what if Moro grabs Goku by the neck and then what? Moro can now do Spirit Bomb, the Kamehameha Wave, maybe even, you know, the Kaioken or the Instant Transmission? Who knows? But this is a really desperate se uh, separate, uh, situation. I'm getting my words mixed up. But uh, also, I forgot to mention is Moro, he has uh, the absorption uh, technique on his palms. Remember on 73, he only had it on uh, his forehead, but uh, Moro has uh, the ability system on his forehead and his palms. So he can uh, store up the three copied um, fighters abilities at once. So it's definitely gonna be, you know, uh, interesting to see what's gonna happen. Will Goku be able to tap into Ultra Instinct again? Cause it's, you know, we've seen what happened to Vegeta and you know, Goku's already, you know, been taken out by Moro once. So I don't know if Goku's gonna be able to, you know, dodge Moro's abilities and um, be able to get out of the way and be able to get away from Moro. But it's definitely gonna be interesting to see what happens. Will Beerus or Mirrors or, you know, Majin Buu get involved? What's gonna happen? I don't know. But, you know, definitely this huge cliffhanger of Moro now being able to use Vegeta's powers, it's something else. This guy Moro may be one of the best villains we've ever seen. This is crazy. But let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these early draft pages. Um, I'll keep you guys updated with everything going on with Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 62. We should have the full chapter by the end of the week. Hopefully you guys stay safe and healthy. I'll see you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed. Have a great day, guys. Peace.